Hello YouTube. Um today instead of doing Minecraft stuff, um I'm going to be showing you something cool that I just found out. So uh, this is a way to get an iPhone or iPad screen um in a way so that you can record it and post it on YouTube. Um I like this because um you are not required to pay. Um there, you can pay, but you're not required to pay, and it'll still be fine. And you do not have to jailbreak your device. So, this works on iPhone and iPad. Sorry, iPod Touch users. But, yeah, it doesn't work for you. Sorry. Um, so, before you start on any of this, just make sure you have... Um, that if you have an iPad, it's an iPad 2 or better. And if you have an iPhone, make sure it's an iPhone 4S or better. And once you've made sure of that, go to this website right here. So this is a program for your computer called Reflector. Um, it works on Mac and PC. So yeah, so it displays your iPhone on or your iPad on your computer. Um, so yes, as you can see, it does say purchase, so you can buy it for. Uh, let's see, how much does it cost? It costs about costs about thirteen bucks. Um, but, yeah, you can just download it for free and install it, and then it'll only go for ten minutes, and then it'll shut, close itself, and you can't use it again. But you can just uninstall it and reinstall it and make as many videos as you want. However, I do encourage you to buy it because, you know, that's the nice thing to do. But if, like me, you can't buy it for some, for whatever reason, then you can do it my way. So either way, once you have, um, once you have it downloaded, um, I like to, I like to put the installation thing on my desktop so that I can just run it. So I'll have to install it for a second. It's fairly quick, but anyway, yeah. Once it's done installing, um, see, so yeah, once it's done installing, it might not be so obvious that it has installed. I'll show you. Yeah, because it is done right now. So, I mean, once it has installed, it's kind of hard to tell that it has installed. It doesn't show up here. You have to look for it. And there it is. So once you found it, you can open it. And here, and, um, if you've bought it, I'm not sure what'll come up, but just do whatever it, you know, follow the instructions. You don't actually have to put in your serial number. Um, at least I didn't. So yeah, once you've gone through everything, it'll look like nothing's happened, but that's because you haven't completed the most important step. So I'm going to um, I'm going to complete that step, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. You hear my iPhone powering up? Maybe I don't know. There, there we go. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to get it up. So what you do is you double tap. Here, I'm going to make, um, I'll show you these later. Here. So double tap your home button. That's this thing right here. And that'll bring up the multitask bar, which just shows all your apps that are open. And go all the way over to the left until you see this little volume slider icon. Um, if you've done it right, there should be a little TV icon. See that right there? TV. So open that up. You should see your PC's name. And, um, so when you click on it, there's mirroring option will come on. By default, it'll be set to off, which means it won't show anything. So make sure that's set to on. And then hit done, and you're good. It's up. And so I'll, I guess I'll just show you uh, the quality of it. So let's go into, let's do Minecraft. And as you can see, it does flip sideways. Sorry. But yeah, so as you can see, it does flip sideways when needed. So yeah, I'll just uh, go around in my world. And as you can see, it fairly work. It works <laughs> fairly works. It works fairly well. Not much lag. There's a bit of lag, occasionally. The audio might be a bit delayed. I don't know, but it works pretty well. And you could select this w window and record. 
just the window with bandit cam, you know. You can do a lot of stuff and uh works pretty well. So I'm gonna go back to my house now. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can shoot a bow. I mean arrow. Right at my house. So yeah, it's got pretty clear graphics most of the time as you can see. Although occasionally it will lag. Okay. Um Yeah, works pretty well. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you the options with the window. So enter full screen is going to make it just only show this. Um, closed connection is going to shut it down, so I'm not going to do that. Show frames, if it's unchecked, it'll just show this thing. But if it's checked, it'll show the outside of your iPhone or whatever it, you have. And so you can co toggle between black and white here. Um... So this, you can actually set up a recording with it, but I would rather use Bandicam, because I can actually get audio off of that one. So the scale here, um, yeah, you can just set it to whatever you want. Um, and there's automatic orientation, meaning it'll, you know, it's at portrait right now, but if I go into an app that is landscape, it flips to landscape. And then when I leave, it goes back to portrait. If it's always landscape, then it's always going to be like this no matter what. And if it's always portrait, if it's forced portrait, it'll always be portrait no matter what. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, what the hell is going on? Alright, is it back to normal now? There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for this tutorial. How to get uh, your screen screen recording for your iPhone, iPhone or iPad? Um, whoops! Thanks for watching. My name is Fahrenheit six four six, and hopefully, please subscribe. And I hope to see you later. Please, please subscribe. Please, I'm so lonely. Please.